I'm Coach Dale Do Awesome, pro athletic trainer. We're here today at the Autonomous Vehicle Competition here in Boulder, Colorado. There's a lot of different robot teams from all around the country, each one striving to win, but our little underdog Moss is gonna come through in the clutch. I'm the head mechanic here for Moss and the, the Modular Robotics. Hired for the competition, one of my specialties here. So yeah, among uh, many other things, uh, like buttering corn on the cob and also uh, grilling thick slices of meat. This is our sixth year of doing this. Sparkfun Electronics is the host every year and we're at the Boulder Reservoir allowing different vehicles to circumnavigate different courses autonomously. You have to program these vehicles to do it on its own. You hit the start button and let it do its thing. My name is Philip Matthews Williamson, Dr. Philip Matthews Williamson, and I am a professional robot sports psychologist. Moss is definitely not the largest robot out here. We've got some really, really big ones, but it's not the size of the robot. It's how you put the wheels to the ground. The Moss team is coming together. We're gonna kick a little butt. We've got the whole team coming together, working together in different ways, because without us working together, we ain't gonna do good. We put in a lot of training hours, a bit of time in the gym, a bit of time out by the railroad tracks. We're doing good. In the heat of competition, it's really easy to get distracted. You gotta keep your sensors down, in the game, motors to the ground. I'll fix anything. If it goes wrong, I got some grade AAA uh, oil grease mixture. Really lubricate the situation if we need to. I got some extra long flexies in case we need to uh, reroute the battery power. Uh, I'm prepared. I think Moss is prepared too. If Moss does not succeed today, we're going to leave it all on the track, bring back an even better robot next year, better, stronger, faster. It's going to be awesome. You know, Moss could even just fly off the starting line, you know? say is that, that this is your first year competing but it was so exciting to see you know them try to get off that starting line and uh, and just that, that initial go there's always a lot of enthusiasm for that first shotgun and then sometimes teams let you down but it's still exciting to see. 